So I just want to take some time to talk about one of my favourite ever puzzle games, Dr. Mario. It came out in 1990 for the NES and it's just one of them puzzle games that's just pretty fantastic. It's simple and it's very addictive to play. I've spent a lot of time playing this game. Now before we get any further in the video, I know this is part of my NES series and I can hear you saying, wait a minute, that's not the NES game. Well, I do have the NES game. See, here it is. But my car is broken and the game was also released on the SNES a little bit later on. And that's what that looks like. And the main reason I wanted to play the SNES version is just because it looks a little bit nicer as well. But it's still essentially the same game. If you're really that desperate to see what the original NES version looked like, there's... You Google it. It looks pretty much the same as this, but less colour. And the music's not as good. Because this music is awfully awfully fantastic like it's terrible i love it but you just know that's getting stuck in your head for the days so just adding on to another vocation that mario has apparently now he's a doctor what qualification he has as a doctor i have absolutely no idea all i know is he'll just keep prescribing you pills until all of the bugs go away and isn't that truly what we want in a doctor essentially as you can see in the left corner you have a like a yellow bug a red bug and a blue bug and you've got to throw pills that are color coordinated match four in a row including the bug and uh yeah they uh they go away don't let it get to the top like in tetris or it's game over pretty simple pretty straightforward and unbelievably fun this game is it looks i don't i'm not very good at playing it so it may not look that fun to watch but honestly this game this game's one up there. Last week, people seemed to really enjoy me talking about Marble Madness, and it's on that same level. This game will keep you addicted. Simple gameplay, and I just feel like games aren't made like this anymore. Obviously, they're not because, you know, there's other things out than an NES. But what I'm saying is they don't make games that are simple in concept, simple to play, but hard to master. Arguably, maybe Helldivers 2 is simple to play, simple concept, hard to master. It genuinely doesn't really happen anymore with, like, modern video games. So, as I was saying, originally this game came out in 1990, and it was released in Japan on the Famicom, or NES. Uh, and then later in Europe it was in 1991 but it also did come out in North America in 1990 uh, October 1990 that's source checked from Wikipedia that's where I get most of my dates and facts from and please forgive me if I absolutely butcher this name I am not great at pronouncing Japanese names but the game was produced by Genpi Yokio again I absolutely butchered that I just know that I butchered that but what can you do now when this game came out it was an absolute commercial success with over like 10 million copies sold worldwide across all the platforms and like i said like the version you're watching now it was later ported to the snes with um uh, tetris it was like a dual cartridge that's what you're seeing the other game was you got tetris and you got this it was one of my first ever games and one of my first ever posts on instagram as well now this game is very easy to get a hold of of. if you have nintendo switch live you can just go straight on to the emulator and it is there you can just play it whenever you want but if you want to get a hard copy of this game for your nes it's probably going to set you back around 15 to 20 pounds that's what i paid for it i think and that seems to be the average price but if you want to get it in a nice box then it's going to be even more if you want it boxed and fully kitted out with a manual you're looking at around 50 pounds now i'm not i don't know what that is in in dollar but in in great british pound that's how much i got it he's a plumber and now he's a doctor and i would absolutely recommend this game this game is really good for passing some time it's very fun and absolutely 100 must have for your collection because i do feel like it is a part of mario's legacy that people are often forgetting about i'd love to see this in the mario movie it would be a quite fun little reference but yeah thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video please remember to leave a like and if you want to see more retro gaming videos please remember to subscribe to the channel i get 
my video my re release schedule is sort of like every tuesday there will be a retrospective video like this monday wednesday and friday there are um, gameplay videos at the moment i should be going through uh, the james bond series and then uh, thursdays very soon there are going to be retro reviews coming out very soon starting with the sega mega drive or sega genesis so look forward to them very soon i'm on the final stages of editing them all together but yeah thank you so much for watching and uh hopefully i'll see you in another video